Upbeat music plays. Camera pans over a cluttered desk filled with gadgets, then zooms in on the speaker. Hey there, smart buyers. Welcome back to Buy Smart, the channel where we help you dodge those buyer's remorse bullets like a pro. Today, we're diving into the world of computer speakers, where sound quality is king and bass is, well, a little bit of a drama queen. Cut to split screen showing Klipsch Pro Media on the left and Logitech Z207 on the right. In the left corner, we have the Klipsch Pro Media 2.1 Thanks Certified Speaker System. At a price of $106, this bad boy promises a legendary sound experience. And in the right corner, we have the Logitech Z 207 2.0 stereo speakers coming in hot at just $59. Can this budget-friendly contender really stand up to the audio heavyweight? Let's find out. First up, sound quality. Klipsch claims to deliver a legendary sound experience. With their micro Tractrix horn technology, sounds fancy, right? They get more sound from every watt of power. Reviewers rave about the clear highs and deep lows, saying it rivals theater sound. Meanwhile, the Ziella 207 boasts full range audio thanks to its power driver and passive radiator. Users appreciate the sound quality for the price, but a few mention that the bass is lacking compared to the Klipsch. If you want to feel the bass in your chest like you're in a live concert, the Klipsch has you covered with a 6.5-inch side-firing subwoofer. You'll be shaking the neighbor's windows and making their cats reconsider their life choices. The Logitech, more like a gentle rumble. Perfect for those who want to keep the peace or just don't have a lot of space. Speaking of price, let's talk dollars. The Klipsch is $106, while the Logitech is a wallet-friendly $59. If you're on a budget, the Logitech is like finding a $20 bill in your jeans. You feel rich, and your bank account breathes a sigh of relief. Reviewers of the Logitech highlight its value for money, stating it provides good sound without breaking the bank. But if you're splurging, Klipsch is like picking up a shiny new toy that you can brag about to your friends. Reviewers who purchase the Klipsch often mention that the sound quality justifies the higher price, especially for movies and music. Now let's talk features. The Klipsch Pro Media has a plug-and-play setup and a control pod that lets you adjust the main volume and subwoofer gain. It's like having a remote control for your bass cravings. Reviewers appreciate the ease of use and setup. The Logitech, on the other hand, flaunts its easy switch technology, allowing you to switch between devices like your juggling flaming torches. Users love the Bluetooth connectivity, although some have reported difficulties switching between sources. With the Logitech, you can connect via Bluetooth or 3.5 millimeters cable it's like a Swiss army knife of audio, but let's be honest, if you're using Bluetooth, you're probably just trying to impress your friends with your wireless capabilities. And let's not forget the aesthetics. The Klipsch looks sleek and professional, like it's ready for a board meeting, while the Logitech looks more like it's ready for a Netflix binge session in your pajamas. Reviewers mention that the Klipsch has a more sophisticated look, making it a better fit for a home office or entertainment setup. Both have their charm. But if you want to impress your in-laws, Klipsch might give you the edge. The Logitech's modern design is praised for complementing most desktop setups, making it a solid choice for casual users. Overall, the Klipsch Pro Media 2.1 system is highly praised for its exceptional sound quality and build making it a favorite among audiophiles willing to spend a bit more. The Logitech Z 207, while not as powerful, still offers great value and decent sound quality, especially for those on a budget. 
both products have their strengths and cater to different user needs, making them popular choices in their respective categories. So who's the winner in this speaker showdown? If you want a legendary sound experience and you've got the extra cash, Klipsch is your go-to. But if you're looking for a budget-friendly option that gets the job done without rattling the walls, Logitech is your friend. Let us know in the comments which speaker you'd choose. And remember, whether you're buying speakers or snacks, always buy smart. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more epic comparisons. Until next time, keep those ears happy and your wallets even happier.